Hello, right now we're going to be talking about centrifuge operation. If you look, there is no patient here and I already have my gloves on. Why? Because we are going to be handling a live specimen. We want to use universal precautions just in case anything happens. So we have our blood that we took from a previous sample or from the patient himself, Mr. Denver Vasquez. And we're going to be figuring out the plasma to red blood cell level. Now, of course, this isn't the full tube. Usually you would be using an SST tube for the centrifuge, but the gray tubes work just as well, as well as a few other ones. Um, your light green and your greens will work. The only thing that you have to do is make sure that you don't invert. But ideally with the centrifuge, SST, which is going to be your tiger top and gold tubes. So when you're using the centrifuge, you need to make sure that it is balanced. Since we only have one tube of blood, I went and made a balanced tube. If you look, there is that nice little liquid in there. All it is is water, plain tap water, uh, filled up roughly equal amounts to make sure that it is balanced. Why? Because if it is not balanced, I'm going to place this one here at number five. If it is not balanced, it starts to dance around. Always make sure that the centrifuge has come to a complete stop. If you can see, it is still dancing around. So at this point, it has come to a complete stop. Now, I've placed it at number five. So now, directly across, I'm going to place the tube with the sample. And that'll take about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to show any results. But if you see, since it is balanced, it is no longer dancing around. Okay, so the centrifuge has stopped spinning. Uh, the little bell went off. I can show you what that sounds like. Anytime that the centrifuge stops, you'll usually hear that little egg timer. So we're going to open it up. And I believe it was at number five. I forget if it's five or one. And for this one, just to not mix everything up, I'm going to use a little uh, hypodermic needle, usually an insulin needle. We're not using this for phlebotomy, but I'm going to stab the little rubber stopper. I'm going to pull out the water one. No big deal. Stab the other one. And as you can see, we have the solid portion, which is the hemoglobin or uh, the red blood cells, your erythrocytes. And then we have the liquid portion. Now this is a somewhat healthy specimen. Why? Because it is not lipemic. We will be going over lipemic specimens eventually. But you can see that the serum, or in this case the plasma, is that nice amber or straw color. How do we know it's plasma and not serum? Because when I invert, we can see it start to mix back together. If it was serum, it would not be mixing together because the red blood cells would have been clotted. Thank you.